What if I told you that some of the most frustrating and life-altering MS symptoms are also some of the easiest to overlook? Most people know about the big MS symptoms, numbness, vision loss, trouble walking, but what about the sneaky ones? The ones that quietly make life harder, often dismissed as just getting older or nothing serious. A lot of my patients tell me that they've struggled with these symptoms for years before they realize they were MS related and treatable. Could you be missing one too? Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. Today, I'm counting down 10 subtle MS symptoms that you might be overlooking. Symptoms that could be affecting your quality of life in ways that you never even expected. The number 10, it's one of the most problematic and yet least talked about. Now don't turn away because all of that starts right now. Hey! Kicking us off with number 10, Irritability. MS-related depression doesn't always look like sadness. More often, I see irritability, short tempers, frustrations over little things, or just acting shitty. This is, in my clinical experience, a more common manifestation of depression in the modern era. If left unaddressed, it can damage your relationships and diminish your overall quality of life. Have you ever noticed this in yourself or in a loved one? Drop a fire emoji in the chat if this resonates. Pro tip. If you find yourself overly irritable, please talk to your neurologist. We can offer a host of treatments that really work. Number nine, wait, what was I talking about? Do you ever walk into a room and completely forget why? MS cognitive fog is a very real and frustrating symptom that can affect memory, concentration, and the ability to multitask. This happens because MS damages the white matter, the wires that connect different parts of your supercomputer. This results in taking more brain area to get the same job done, slowing down your processing speed. Many of my patients notice that this gets worse as the day goes on and they get more tired. A pro tip is to use phone reminders, sticky notes, and stick to scheduled routines to help keep your brain on track. For example, always hang your keys on the same hook when you get home so that you don't have to look for them later. You know they're on the hook. Now before we move on, here's a challenge. Comment below if you've ever lost your phone while holding it. Number eight, when your legs just give up. Ever started walking and you feel fine, but then after a while your legs become weak? That's MS motor fatigue. Unlike regular tiredness, MS motor fatigue occurs when you exert yourself and then raise your core body temperature, even just half a degree. This causes the nerve signals traveling through the damaged areas of your brain and spinal cord to literally short circuit, causing your muscles to feel heavy and unresponsive. And the harder you push, the worse it gets. Here's a pro tip. Break up long walks, taking frequent rests. Allow your body to cool back down so that your nerves can fire properly. Number seven, I struggle to walk in the dark. Do you ever find yourself catching door frames, missing steps, or tripping, but only really when it's dark? This is a subtle MS problem with proprioception, or joint position sense, the ability to sense where your body is in space. So we use several different sensory systems to keep ourselves from tripping and falling while walking, including the joint position sense of our feet and our vision. Now when the lights are out, we can only rely on position sense, which can be impaired in MS. Pro tip, when you go to the bathroom at night, Turn on the lights. Stick around because you should never ignore the next symptom. Symptom number six is a shy bladder. Do you ever have trouble starting your stream or feel like you can't fully empty? Do you ever have to push on your bladder to get all the urine out? Or do you ever think that you're finished peeing, stand up, and you must sit right back down again? MS can disrupt the signals between the brain and the bladder, sometimes resulting in urinary retention. This can be embarrassing, lead to accidents, or even cause serious infections if not properly managed. This subtle MS symptom is actually quite common. Pro tip, bring up bladder retention to your neurologist. There's a host of medicines and even special PT exercises that can help fix this. Number five, I can't poop. I have MS patients that only move their bowels once a week. MS can slow down your entire digestive system often leading to constipation. The nervous system plays a critical role in gut motility. When nerve signals are disrupted for multiple sclerosis, food moves slower through the intestines, causing bloating, discomfort, and infrequent bowel movements. Basically, MS can make it really hard to poop. Then to add insult to injury, dehydration and limited physical activity can make the problem even worse. Have you ever noted this change? Drop a poop emoji in the comments if you can relate. A few pro tips. Increase fiber intake, take a probiotic, stay hydrated, 
and consider gentle exercise to get things moving. Number four, your vision plays tricks on you. Do you ever get weird, fleeting double vision, particularly when you're tired? MS can damage the muscles that control binocular eye movement, causing your eyes to become unyoked. This misalignment can cause double vision or the sensation that your eyes are jumping. And this subtle symptom tends to get worse when you're overheated, stressed, or tired. Pro tip, if this is happening, close your eyes or take a nap. It will literally recharge your battery. Number three, my skin feels weird. MS numbness isn't just pins and needles. We have not evolved to be able to easily report on sensations caused by a damaged spinal cord. As a result, my patients oftentimes have difficulties in explaining the abnormal sensations they feel on their skin. Sometimes they'll report that it feels like their limb is wrapped in plastic wrap or submerged underwater, but oftentimes they report it just feels Weird. This can be annoying and frustrating, or even dangerous, if you're not aware that you're burning or injuring yourself. Number two, diminished sexual sensation. MS can certainly affect the down theirs, including decreasing sexual sensation. Sometimes my patients report a numbness in their down theirs, making it hard to become sexually aroused when stimulated. This is because MS can damage the pathway between the brain and the down theirs, so the brain doesn't get the message and know how to respond to sexual touch. This subtle symptom is oftentimes not discussed, even between intimate partners, and it deserves attention. A pro tip is to provide what I call overdrive stimulation. Consider a water-based lubricant, which increases skin sensitivity, and consider a plug-in-the-wall vibrator. Whew. You can use it during intercourse to amplify sensation and help the brain get the message. If you'd like me to cover MS and sexual health more in depth, drop a heart in the comment section below. Symptom number one is one of the most frustrating and yet least talked about. But before I get there, I wanna throw in a bonus symptom coughing during lunch. Do you ever find that while eating or drinking, you may <coughs> cough or sputter or maybe even choke a little bit? That's not normal. It's concerning for MS-related dysphagia or trouble swallowing. Whereas it might not seem like a big deal at the time, it actually is very concerning for possible aspiration pneumonia when you put food down the front tube into your lungs. This is a setup for a possible infection. I take this very seriously and I want you to. If you ever find that you're coughing while eating, I want you to bring it to the attention of your neurologist. They can refer you to a speech pathologist who can do a swallow study and help you figure it out. And now to tackle symptom number one, your social radar is off. Has anyone ever commented that you seem somewhat off during a casual conversation, MS can affect something called social cognition, making it harder to pick up on nonverbal cues, such as tone, facial expressions, body language, or sarcasm. This happens because MS can damage parts of the frontal lobes of the brain, which are responsible for helping us interpret social cues. And the result, misunderstandings, unintentional rudeness, missing the punchline to a joke, or feeling out of sync during social conversations. Pro tip, if you notice that this sometimes happened to you, Consider being upfront during a conversation and sharing, hey, sometimes because of my MS, I miss social cues. If someone's ever commented that you seemed off with social cues or that you missed a joke, leave a <coughs> emoji in the comment section below. Today, we've reviewed several subtle MS symptoms, including irritability, cognitive fog, motor fatigue, loss of position sense, shy bladder, constipation, transient double vision, hard to explain skin sensations, loss of sexual sensation, trouble swallowing, and impaired social cognition. I'm curious, which one of these subtle symptoms surprised you the most? Leave your answer in the comments section. How many of these 11 subtle symptoms have you experienced? Leave that number down in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and maybe share the video with someone who could benefit from watching it. Subtle symptoms are not the only invisible symptoms that people impacted by MS deal with. To learn more about invisible symptoms, click the video that's on your screen right now. And until my next Monday morning video, or my next monthly live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.